Hello and welcome, my name's David. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating the Adamski effect and we're going to be giving it a little bit of a twist. Now, the image I'm using, I found using my stock tab. I was on Pixabay and I put in the word surfer. Scroll down a little way, there he is. Simply click on it, dragging it out into the workspace. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the background layer. So make sure it is live. Now you can use Command J, Control J. We're going to rename this layer. I'm going to call it what it will be, which will be the waves. Right, as the name implies, waves, there's no surfer and surfboard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the surfer and surfboard by using the selection brush tool. Now I've got the mode set to add. 41 pixels, now I'm going to take it up in size, I'm going to use the right hand square bracket, 72 will be fine. Snap to edges, all layers is ticked. Starting with the surfboard, going over the top, just coming back and forth, down our surfboard, like this. Just coming down a little bit more. This side here in particular, the right hand side can be a little bit tricky as it's just shown us. Come into the reflection, I'm just going to Go over that, that will do for the moment. Coming to our surfer, clicking down, quick and easy over this area here. Notice the way it's gone in. Not going to worry too much. Once again, coming down to the reflection, the shadow, dropping the size of the brush down, left hand square bracket, and it's shot right the way over. But as I said, I'm not going to worry because all you need to do is press, hold down, Alt or Option. Now that changes it from Add to Subtract. And as you can see, you can come in and you can just tighten it, the area around here, still holding down Alter Option into that area. That looks pretty good. Let's just take that up. That's OK. And let's pull that in and let's get rid of this here. Right. Going to take that one in there as well. Next, we're going to head up to Refine. The screen turns red, which indicates we're in the preview mode of overlay. Matte edge is ticked. I've also got, if I just click down, a brush, which is handy because now we can come to areas like this and we can just remove that where we can see it's a little bit thin into this area. I'm going to leave that. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Now, this brush is fantastic for hair. Now, there's only a little bit of hair showing up there, but the same way, that hair, it works extremely well on this sort of area like this. Now to see this a little bit clearer, by the way, while I'm here, there's a little part here that I want to bring in. So let's just go over it and see what it, that looks really good. That's done a good job. So just going over this bit here as well, just that touch of reflection there, that looks good. Now the view that I like to use it in is the black and white. Now here you can see it much clearer. Notice these spiky bits, got spiky bits here as well as around his ankle. We've still got a brush. If I click down, you would actually see it. So we can go over here. Notice how we can bring that back. That does a fantastic job. I'm going to increase the size of the brush, right hand square bracket. And I'm going to go over that part like this. And I'm going to go over that part like that. Yeah, that looks good and just perhaps a little bit in here as well just to yeah spend a bit of time going through this what I am going to do is I'm just going to head back over I've just seen something I want to remove this area here so drop the size of your brush right the way down all you need to do now is press hold down alt or option now that changes it to the subtract mode and I'm just going to go over that little wave that we had going through there that'll do fine heading back over to black and white just notice that and there it is the spiky bits i mentioned now what i always do is i use the ramp i love using this and what you can do moving it to the right you expand the selection move it to the left you contract it i tend to use a figure of minus 25 look at the way when you release it it's tightened it up come into feather and if you go to three pixels, that's done a good job as well. Smooth, tend to go for around about uh, two pixels with this. Once again, that does a really good job. Selection, 
This is the output. I'm going to go down to New Layer with Mask. Click on Apply, and there it is. If we just take a look, there he is. OK, unfold the mask. Click on the mask layer, heading up to Colors. Make sure you've got the default color, any other color. D on the keyboard will restore it. Press B on the keyboard will give you the brush tool. Heading over to our brush panel, I'm going to come down and select a hard edge brush. That will do nicely. Command 1, Control 1. Now I've got black as my foreground color. Let's come to this area here. I'm going to click down, come in right to the edge. I'm going to click down. Don't forget this is a hard edge brush. Lift up your brush, releasing it so you're not holding down at all. Come down to this area here, press hold down shift on the keyboard, bring it in close now, click down, and you can see the way you can just remove those spiky bits. I'm going to come down around here just to tighten up that edge. If you've got a thin edge, press X on the keyboard, and you can now just fill it in. This is with white as a foreground color. Now I'm not going to spend too much time going around this, perhaps just tidying up those little bit of spiky bits on his ankles and that little bit there that was annoying me. Right, Command-0, Control-0. What we're going to do next is we're going to turn our surfer, in fact, let's rename him rather than Pixel, we'll call him what he is, which is our surfer. We're going to make a selection of him. So bring your cursor over the thumbnail. Press, hold down, Command or Control, click down. We have a selection, there it is. Come into our Waves layer, we're going to switch this on. We're now going to remove him and his surfboard from our waves layer. And I'm going to press H to give me the hand tool in case I click down with the brush. Now, the first thing we need to do is expand this selection. So select, grow shrink. Radius, taking this across to the right hand side. Only need a small amount. So I'm going to just gingerly go across 26, that'll be fine. Don't go above 30 with this. I'll explain why in just a moment. Ticking circular. This is going to round it off. Keep an eye on his head, top of the surfboard. You can see the way it just rounded it off. Gives a smoother selection. Click and apply. To remove our surfer, edit, in paint, and just waiting for Affinity Photo to do the work for us. Fantastic. Now, if you'd used a bigger selection, what tends to happen is it wanders in and it'll pick up areas like this reflection of our sun here and place it in round about that part, which you don't want. Command D, Control D is what we do want to remove our selection. Repeat patterns. I am not going to worry about this because with the Adamski effect, heading down to our live filter, we're going to come up to motion blur. This is going to cover all of that repeat patterns as soon as we use the motion blur. Now the rotation, zero degrees. I am leaving it on that so it is horizontal, which will work fine. Taking it across, notice the way it's blurring. Notice two thin edges. Tick, preserve alpha. That's cured that thin edge problem. Okay, that looks pretty good as 100 pixels. But I'd like to go further. And you can click down so it's highlighted. You can go up to, I think if my memory serves me correctly, it's about 10, 24, I think. I'm going to put in nowhere near that. I'm going to go for 300. That looks good. I'm going to leave it like that for the moment and click to accept it. Coming up to our surfer layer, let's tick so it's on. There it is. It is now visible. That looks really good. Looks, yeah, I'm not sure I'd that happy with the reflection area down here. So I'm going to click on the mask. This is again where that mask comes in extremely handy. Scrolling down, I'm going to go for a medium soft brush. Let's pick up this one. Press B on the keyboard, a little bit small. I'm going to use the right hand square bracket. We got 128 pixels. That was the largest one. Bring it in out. If you look at the brush, we've got a slightly darker center. So you have to bear that in mind. Take a look at the menu bar. We've got an opacity of 100%, flow 100, hardness 25. Now that at 100 is too strong. Press five will take you to 50%. That fades things down. I want to go even further. I'm gonna press two for 20%. That looks better. Zooming in, command one, control one. Scrolling down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
perhaps drop the size of the brush down to that sort of area here. And I'm just going to go over it, just going back and forth. I want to phase it in. That's once. Let's go over it again. There. That looks good. So that's two passes with that. Let's give this side a try. That's the first pass. Moving it back and forth. Don't forget that brush had a little bit of a darker center. This area here, just too dark. So let's go over that a couple of times like this. Just rather than ramp up the opacity, just do it a couple of times at a lower opacity. Then you can bring it back. Don't forget, this is a mask anyway, so you can come over it. Let's leave it like this and... Nope, I'm going to leave that bit there as well. Command Z, Control Z to undo it. There he is. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought, I don't like the sun. Come into our waves. I'm going to unfold it. Click so on our mask layer, on our mask layer, on our blur layer, which has also got a mask. Right. Now, if I bring my cursor over, let's take the size of the brush right the way up and you can begin to see the sun underneath. Press zero. There is the sun. We're now at 100% opacity. We can go over that. That looks better. Coming down to the water, 100% opacity. Way too strong. Try pressing five. Still too strong. Try pressing three, 30%. That looks pretty good. I like that. So I'm just going to go over that over this area of the water here. No, I think perhaps just a little bit down there. And yeah, don't forget, this is a mask. I can always come back. I can always remove it, but I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. OK, let's take a look at our server. Now, when I saw it like this, I felt it looked just a little bit. I know it could almost be pasted in. So let's try something different. We're going to head up to the blend modes. We're going to drop the blend modes to multiply. And when it came down to this area here in particular, I thought that looks good. Color dodge. If it wasn't for a short, I would have stuck with this. If I come down even further, overlay, really like that. Soft lights. That's the one I'm going to go for. Now, I think this works a treat. It gives a much more sort of dreamier look to it. Now we can do things like for example coming to our server i can use command j control j that's going to increase it you can now come to the opacity layer drop it right the way back down so that's it with one layer and we can now slowly dial it in until we get that we like perhaps something like this okay now that we've done that i'm going to come to the waves layer we're going to go down to an adjustment and i'm going to head up to vibrance I'm going to take this all the way to, let's go to about 70% for vibrance. Let's come to the saturation, slowly bringing this across into something like that there, giving a much dreamier look to it. Let's click to accept it, but it doesn't stop there. We have got the flexibility to be able to come in. Don't forget, we have got 300%. If you think that's a bit strong, experiment. As soon as you click on that slider, you default to 100. I'm going to put in one scope 175. That looks good like that. I like how that's looking. Sun still looks good. The water, we're at 30% opacity. Let's take it up a little bit bigger. Perhaps you want to go just go over that wave. I just wanted a little bit more definition to it. And there, there it is. Experiment. That's what it's all about. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. And don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is Happy Imaging and take care.